Only the dead have seen the end of war. Berto Putin, Prime Minister of C C Crimea. What? Ah, oh, wah! <laughs> Kitty yawn. Ah, oh, I can't believe I was slept. Motherfucker. Gunny's gonna have my head for this. I mean, and I don't mean the one with hair on it. Wait, never mind. It's the first day of class. He'll be cool. Oh shit, it's the first day of class! Fuck! <laughs> Gotta get to school. I really shouldn't have written down. I really should have written down that address, shouldn't I? Oh fuck, I knew I should have kept the pen up my ass. I don't know where the hell this school is. I mean, I could ask someone for directions, but fuck, I never learned Japanese. Fuck you. I haven't, forget I haven't forgotten about Pearl Harbor. Why the fuck would they put a tank school in downtown a Akihabara? Japanese city anyway. Come to think of it, I haven't seen any military bases near here either. What the fuck, Japan? Hell, I really am gonna be like, I can't figure out where the fuck I'm going. I should ask for directions. Looks like the mechanic shop is open, same with the convenience store. Last one of them. Well, a convenience store would be nice, but I'm sure that would be a typical anime plot. And not, and being a westerner, I'm gonna go ask the mechanic. Uh, the mechanic probably knows who a tanker school is, I mean, you know, tanks, mechanics. I make my way into the garage. Small garage. I make my way into the garage of a small mechanic shop. I'm fucking stupid. The only thing lighting the room is a warm glow of morning sunlight coming through the garage doors. Suddenly, a young woman dressed in a denim jacket wheels out from the one of the vehicles. Jack is covered in motor oil stains. What are you doing in here? She asks sternly in an accent that clearly isn't Japanese. You glance around awkwardly. Sorry, I was just looking for the army base with the... The, the tanks, and the school. The, the tanks and the school! You, you know I am from the old country! Her expression changes to a smile and she wipes the oil off her hands. Name's Michaela. We ain't got no fuck. We ain't got no tanks. But there are some cuties down the school. Something, I, I've skipped through it. Fuck! But the tank school, you question before she cuts you off again. Oh, we got one of those. The tanks are real sweet girls. I did some work on that Panzer IV last week. She's so adorable! You stare confused by her statement. Adorable tank girls? Are you some fucking weeb that fucks tanks? She ignores you and continues on with her sentence. Yeah, yeah, you're in a hurry. Just go a few more streets to tank school. It's a big white building. You can't miss her, she says with a laugh. You nod and thank quickly for leaving the school. Fucking inbred hick. But she hangs a confederate flag in her bathroom. You've been jogging the last few blocks before you're finally coming to the gates of the school. The building looks unassuming enough, except for the large TANK SCHOOL sign on the front wall, written in some sort of tectonic font. Well, I guess this is it, you say to yourself as you make your way inside. <whistles> as I make my way through the hall, the school's halls, towards the classroom, something seems amiss. Beyond the TANK SCHOOL sign, nothing about this place looks like it's run by the military at all. I mean, where are the crying privates? Where are the smiling sergeants making privates cry? And I feel very cheerful in this environment. No military police at the gate, checking papers. No junior officers walking around trying to get salutes out of annoying sergeants. Nothing. No sergeants kissing ass. No privates kissing the sergeant's ass. Man, yeah, that mechanic was fucking with me. Fucking hick. You keep walking down the hallway before stopping to peer into a classroom through an open door because you're a fucking weeb. Hmm. I don't see nothing. To you, it looks like any normal Japanese classroom. The desk remains in neat rows, and nothing about the room would lead you to believe this place has anything to do with the military. What the hell have I gotten myself into? I muttered to myself before stepping back out into the hallway, and then changing the first person yet again. Huh, well, there's room 2C. This is what I said on the papers. This is it, Mama. This must be it, I guess. I opened the door. Hello? Holy fuck! You're ready for class, maggot! A tall man dressed in a marine drill sergeant uniform shouts at you. We're even halfway through the door. He's peering into my soul. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Don't you sue me, maggot! I work for a fucking living! Gunnery sergeant, I mean... Have you forgotten to address a senior non-commissioned officer, maggot? Sergeant, this recruit is sorry for being late. This recruit was lost and had to ask for directions, sergeant. The sergeant opens his mouth to shout again. The classroom door opens. Uh... Hey, senpai! Sherman, you're late again! Sorry, senpai. I couldn't find my armored skirts this morning. <sighs> no excuses, Sherman. Take your seats. That means you too, recruit. He says, looking back at me. Class, Sherman and our new recruit are volunteering for cleaning detail this afternoon. Fuck! Senpai! 
Two afternoons! <laughs> Hi, Sergeant. Best job I ever had. Fucking hard ass. Best job I ever had! The rest of the class replies in unison. You and Sherman take your seat to the back of the class, and drill search, and the drill sergeant continues with his lesson. Fucking hate school. After a few minutes of listening to him lecture on fire support doctrines, you hear a whisper to your right. Psst, new guy. Psst, what's your name? I should just ignore her. But then again, fuck that. The plot needs some stuff. Uh, Erwin, I whispered back. What are you doing here? At, at tank school. That's what. That's what I want to know. I must be studying tank warfare at an officer's academy. But all of you are dressed like high schoolers. And fucking adorable high schoolers at that. Well, duh, we're tanks. What What the fuck does that mean? You're, you're tanks? Have you been smoking something today? Preferably crack cocaine? Didn't you read the sign up front? Tank school. It's pretty obvious. Yeah, but I thought it was tank school. Like normal. Guderian, Rommel, Patton. That kind of tank. No, it's tank school for tanks. That makes absolutely no fucking sense, what the fuck? Cut the chatter back there, recruits, or I will stick my foot so far up your ass you'll be cleaning my heels! Don't worry, I'll introduce you to everyone at lunch, she whispers before going back to doodling on her desk. Fucking... this fucking sucks. It's gonna be a weird day, isn't it? I ask myself. Very hope I'm at the right place. Command's gonna give me hell of... give me hell if they think I went AWOL. Yeah, Command doesn't like them when you go... A wall. Something about Vietnam or something. Probably almost lunchtime. The sound of the bell, all the tanks in the classroom starting packing their lunch their lunch bags and heading into the hallway. Hmm. You guy, follow me! Sherman shouts. I'll show you where the mess hall is, she shouts excitedly from across the hall as she starts skipping away. <coughs> oh fuck, I just burped. A shooter girl to your right looks at you and frowns. <sighs> You'll be sitting with us today. Great, she says she rolls her eyes and follows Sherman down the hall. Fucking bitch. You walk into school's mess hall, and already there are tons of students sitting at ver various tables together. On the far side of the room, you see Sherman and a few other girls chatting. As soon as she sees you, she jumps up. Hey, new guy, over here! You walk over to the group of girls, and one by one, Jim begins to introduce you. Erwin, meet Panzer IV. Hiya! I am Junior here, and I am from Germany! She says with a wink, and a totally unwoman-like voice that's obviously me making it up. And you're a tank, too, I asked. Of course! I'm Panzer IV! Ausschiffsung Vibe Z! But I just call me Panzer IV! She giggles. I cannot pronounce German for the likes of me. Fuck all of you, you try it. And this little cutie is T-34-chan, Sherman says, pulling over the pink-haired girl's sleeves. Cut it out, Sherman. Aw, oh, come on, T-chan. Ah, oh, hi. I'm Tankovy-34, but everyone just calls me T-34, except Sherman, because she's a dumb bitch. That's right, she's a little T-chan. I'm not that short. <laughs> Shorter than both of us, Sherman and Panzer IV laugh in unison. And we thought the T-34 did have a shorter uh, frame than uh, most other tanks. It's obvious that this isn't the first time they've had this discussion. Wait, so if you're a Panzer IV and she's, 30, and she's a T-34, don't you two... We used to have our differences, but we got over it, right, T-44? She says, nudging T-34 to speak. Right, who needs European homography? Hemon... Hemon... Fuck! And Crimea anyway. <laughs> Sherman quickly cuts her off. Well, as close as, as that is, well, as close to over as it, well, as close to over it as they can get, she says, poking them both in the ribs. So then, everyone, here is a tank. Yep, well, except for the teachers and you, she says, embarrassed. I'm just think this is some sort of joke, some kind of sick joke. It seems normal to me, she smiles. Well, yeah, but you're a fucking tank, and a girl. I still don't even know how the fuck I'm- why the fuck I'm here. Why am I supposed to be st I'm supposed to be studying armored warfare, not how to be a tank. I'm no fucking transformer. Go 
ask Gunnery Sergeant Houghton. He's so kawaii, even if it seems even if he seems like such a meanie. I don't think I've ever heard a sergeant called kawaii. Let's go together. Come on, she says as she grabs you by the hand. Ah, fuck. Follow me, Aaron. We can talk to Herr Sergeant. I don't know. He doesn't really seem like the talking type. Is anyone else, preferably a woman? He just seems grumpy, but he's actually really sweet. We are talking about the same person, right? Big, green uniform, yells a lot, marine. It's all because he was in the war, Diesel. Wait, he was? I speak the sound of a tank motor stalling suddenly worse behind you. Ah, look out! What the fuck? No! Ah, dead. Uh, I'm so sorry. I can't do the voice. I don't know who the fuck we're talking to. I is he okay? Ah. You really need to be more careful. You almost crushed him. I know, Senpai. I broke down again and I couldn't stop. It's okay. He's gonna be alright. Just don't push yourself so hard, okay? Hi! Hi! Ah. I moaned. Senpai, he's waking up! I'm alive! Nothing can kill me! Type of bullets. Looks like you took quite a fall there. What? Where am I? Why does everything hurt? Don't worry, you're just, you'll be quite alright. What? What the fuck happened? Oh, Tiger wanted a little slip up. Her transmission jammed again. Fucking Tiger. You know, you really should be wearing a helmet when you're on tanks. Didn't you read the field manual? <laughs> field manual? Never mind. Anyway, Tiger, come over here. He looks well enough to see you. She's silent. She be stay silent. I, I, I'm sorry for running you over, she says. She looks really sad. She probably say something. Uh, what do I know about girls? They have boobs. Okay, using that knowledge, I'm going to try to not hurt her feelings, because boobs. It's okay, it doesn't hurt that bad. You shift under the bed to stand up before falling back down in pain. Oh god! Kill me! Okay, maybe a little bit, but it was an accident, right? Uh, you mean it? Yeah, it's not like... The girl interrupts you, limit your limitations with a hug, and you can see that she's on the verge of crying. <laughs> miss, miss, you're fucking crushing me. Nurse, what's up with her? Oh, Tiger breaks down a lot. It's just a design flaw. Tiger's still trying to hug you as you still drag yourself closer to the door. Look, I'm really alright. <sighs> See? You say balancing with one foot in the ground. You might want to let me handle this from here. Why don't you take the rest of the day off? Ah, sure. Yeah, I'll see myself out, you say as you pry the girl off of you. And then get some fresh air into your lungs. You walk out into the school hallway and take a moment to catch your thoughts. <laughs> and fart. What kind of place is this? You mutter when you notice her staring at you from behind the corner of a wall. She back around the corner as soon as you look at her. Um, hello? I can see you. I can see you. I know you're there. Peeks out her head back out, blushing good and looks very shy. Ah, uh, I am sorry. Are, are you? Oh, that, that's her, not me. Are, are you the new boy? Uh, yeah, I, I guess I am. I guess. Well, I want to ask you something, if that is okay. Uh, sh sure, what is it? Whoa! Ha well, have you ever been inside of a tank? Ah. What the fuck? How do I answer this question? Let's just say yes. Yeah, well, once in training, we did tank maintenance. We did a pretty decent tank maintenance class. It was pretty fun, actually. I got to fire a couple rounds through the barrel. Oh, so she let you touch her. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, these were normal tanks, not tank girls. I'm no fucking ped. Oh, <laughs> well, well, you're coming with me. Let's get a drink. Uh, hmm. Well, normally, I, I would never do such a thing because obviously going out with a girl like this is a bad idea. But I have head trauma from being hit by a fucking tank, so I'm gonna say sure. <laughs> yeah, come on, let's go! Yeah, all the voices sound the same, that's because I'm a fucking sexist. Yeah, up yours. 
You and I as two walk down the street. She keeps trying to brush her hand against yours. Obviously, she isn't the master of subtlety. Uh. Come on, Ruin! Let's get that drink! She pulls you into the bar by the hand. Obviously, you don't have much choice in the matter. As all dating endeavors go. Uh. The bar is dimly lit, and it smells of sweat, alcohol, and do I smell Cosmoline. In the background, a beat-up radio plays soft jazz music. I ask you leads you into the bar counter, where the crusty bearded man peers out at you from behind an open bottle of vodka. That's me I ask you, and he takes a swig. Vodkin, I get you, toughest heap gipsy. The usual, and oh, and here will have a... Hmm. Nah, I have a splitting headache. Might as well get a hangover tomorrow to match it. Something hard. Something hard, what do you have? Vodka. Anything else? My papa, Sergei, he left me this bar when the fall fell. He makes vodka all his life. All his life! Are you insulting my papa? Are you spit on his name and pissing his very life's work for the state? Crikey bit! Oh, God. He'll have vodka. He'll have vodka, too. In fact, make it a double. I'm staying frisky. Your music starts up again. Let's take a sip of your drink. You know what my favorite maneuver? You know what my favorite maneuver is? Enveloping from behind. Oh god, butt stuff. <coughs> Let me choke on your drink. <laughs> Cough away. What the fuck? It's true. It's so effective, especially when the enemy isn't expecting it. You press the attack and penetrate their lines from behind. My Papa Joseph taught that me. Taught me that. Yes. What about you? Do you have a favorite maneuver? Oh, I wanted to say full frontal. Fuck. I guess cough will do. <coughs> Me too, I like choking them of their resources. They pay for their disloyalty to the Rodia. Loyalty? Rodinia? Yes, it means a lot to me and my family. People keep leaving me. I'm sorry to hear that, IS2. But you didn't leave me! You came here with me! No. You're great, Erwin! She slaps you in the back. Ow! Ah, you spill your drink? Don't spill it, silly. Finish your drink and let's dance! I kind of can't breathe. <coughs> I still can't breathe. I just spit on my monitor. I still can't breathe. You suppose, but that's okay. You can watch, I guess. But no picking up my armored skirt! She makes her way to the musky floor of the mostly empty bar and begins to dance. Saxon lace innuendo. Brad, I asked too. What did I say about dancing in this bar? All right. She winds and joins you back at the bar. So, did you like your first day at tank school? It was weird. Really fucking weird. I'm having trouble getting over the fact that you're a sentient tank. Well, duh, cutie. What else would I be there? What else would I be there? Well, for you, it, makes, it must make sense. You're a tank. A cute tank? Uh, well, yeah, I, I guess you're a cute tank. I know it. Let's drink. I right, so we have class in the morning. That's right, class in the morning. We have vodka right now. He likes her drinks. Maybe a bit too much for my taste. Suddenly, an old-sounding song comes over the radio, and a few patrons of the bar begin to toast and sing. <clears throat> I think I've heard this before. It sounds familiar. The national anthem of some country. What country is that? I forget. Wait a second. Isn't that the... Soviet and him? That's Stalin here? You can see a single sided hero roll down the bartender's cheek. Your patriotism belongs in another. <laughs> That's the bartender, not her. Your patriot, your patriotism belongs in another time, Chovesky. The young dies down, and most of the patrons clear to the bar. I'm gonna head home, Erwin. Want my number? Sure, girl, give me your number. Sure, give me your number. I'm not reading that. Call me, won't you? She gets up from her seat and winks at you as she walks out of the bar. You finish the last of your drink and the bartender puts up, puts out his cigar. Huh, I didn't think you were allowed to smoke in bars in Japan. It's also against bar rules to be little asshole in bar, and I not throw you out yet, da? Alright, uh, have a nice night, buddy. You leave the bar and start walking back to your house.
You make your way home, trekking across the entire town to get there. Damn, that girl dragged me far, I muttered as I approached my apartment. What a nut anyway, seriously. I mean, she was cute, but kind of crazy. You open the front door and go upstairs to your room. Sit in your bed and take your shoes off, one by one. I don't even know, I mean, could she have been any more forward about wanting to get in my pants? God, I probably have to see her at school tomorrow, too. I wonder if that's a blessing or a curse. I need to figure out what her deal is. Hell, what any of this tank school stuff is. I can't exactly ask the sergeant, it sure wasn't much help. Wait, the nurse mentioned a manual, I bet there's a surplus store in town with all that stuff. Yeah, I'll go there tomorrow! I'll go there tomorrow after I know after school. They've got to know something at least. You lay your head back on the pillow and fall fast before you even know it. Sleepy sleep. sleep.